Hello everyone. Let's label together the structures on the blank figures of the synovial joint structure, the knee joint, and the hip joint. Starting with the first blank figure, this represents the structure of all synovial joints. So this right here is the periosteum, which surrounds the bone. This is the ligament. All synovial joints are surrounded by ligaments to support the joint structure. This right here is the joint cavity. That is the joint cavity which has the synovial fluid in it. This right here is the articular hyaline cartilage which covers the end of long bones to prevent the erosion of the bone. This right here is the fibrous capsule whereas this is the synovial membrane. They both form the articular capsule. Don't confuse the ligament which supports the joint with the articular capsule which consists of the fibrous capsule, the outer part, and the synovial membrane which helps secrete the synovial fluid that is found in the joint cavity. Moving to the anatomy of the knee joint. First, this is the femur as a bone. This is the tibia bone. This is the patella. So these are the three bones. Moving to the tendon of the muscle right here, this is the quadriceps femoris tendon. The patellar ligament. Don't confuse a tendon with a ligament. A tendon connects the muscle to the bone. This right here is the joint cavity, that is the space. Right here we can see the anterior cruciate ligament anteriorly. Posteriorly we have the posterior cruciate ligament. Both they form an X. This is the lateral meniscus, we can see part of it. We can also see the other part of the lateral meniscus. Keep in mind that the lateral meniscus is a C in shape. This is the articular capsule of the joint. This right here is the suprapatellar bursa. And this right here is the deep infrapatellar bursa. This is the subcutaneous prepatellar bursa. And this right here is the infrapatellar fat pad. Moving to the anterior aspect of the knee joint. First, let's identify the bones. This is the tibia, which is the medial bone in the leg. This is the fibula, which is the lateral bone in the leg. And this is the patella right here. This is the fibular collateral ligament. Notice how it connects the femur with the fibula. The other hand, we have the tibial collateral ligament, which connects the femur with the tibia. This right here is the medial condyle of the femur. Whereas this right here is the lateral condyle of the femur. As we mentioned in the previous videos, the fibula, which is the lateral bone in the leg, will help you identify the lateral condyle from the medial condyle. Both are condyles. But this is the lateral, whereas this is the medial, which is closer to the tibia. This is the anterior cruciate ligament. And posteriorly, we have the posterior cruciate ligament. Moving to the two meniscus, this is the medial meniscus, whereas this is the lateral meniscus. As we mentioned earlier, 
the fibula will help you identify the lateral aspect of the leg. So that is the lateral meniscus, the one closer to the fibula, whereas this is the medial meniscus, the one closer to the tibia. This is the patellar ligament, whereas this is the quadriceps femoris tendon. So don't confuse the quadriceps femoris tendon with the patellar ligament. Right here, we can see the quadriceps femoris muscle, whereas this is the quadriceps femoris tendon right here. This is the patella as a bone. This is the patellar ligament. This is the fibula. This is the fibular collateral ligament. That is the tibia. And this is the tibial collateral ligament. So the two collateral ligaments are parallel to each other. Right here, we can see the lateral patellar retinaculum. And this right here is the medial patellar retinaculum. Moving to the anatomy of the hip joint. This is the femur. This is the coxal, the hip bone. You can also see the head of the femur right here. This is the ligament of the head of the femur. We mentioned in the femur video that on the head we have the fovea capitis. Notice how the ligament of the head of the femur is connected to the fovea capitis, which attaches the femur to the hip bone. This right here is the articular capsule. We can see the articular capsule right here. This right here is the acetabular labrum. We can see the acetabular labrum on this figure as well. This is the articular cartilage that protects the bone on both sides. This is the synovial membrane. This is the joint cavity. Right here, we can see the anterior aspect of the hip joint. This is the posterior aspect of the hip joint. Notice, this is the anterior part of the pelvic bone. This is the anterior part of the femur. So right here, we can see the anterior inferior iliac spine. This is the greater trochanter. This is the greater trochanter right here. That is the ischium, which is on the posterior aspect of the hip bone. This is the iliofemoral ligament. It connects the ilium, which is the bone on the anterior aspect of the pelvic bone with the femur. This is also the iliofemoral ligament. We can see part of it on the posterior aspect. This right here is the pubofemoral ligament, which connects the pubis bone with the femur. And this is the ischiofemoral ligament. Remember, the ischium is on the posterior aspect. That's why we can see the ischiofemoral ligament posteriorly.